Welcome to our brand new WebEx UI designer. You can use this tool to create app prototypes with WebEx UI by visual means and get the resulting source code. Let's get started. When you enter the application for the first time, you'll see the default project already created for you. Within this project, you can create app prototypes. So let us enter the project and click the new design button to create one. You can choose from six presets, blank, layout, form, top menu, left menu, and data. Let's select the layout. Now we are in the edit area and ready to start working on the interface. In this design, you can see several placeholders where you can put widgets. You can choose the widgets from the gallery on the left. There's a vertical navigation panel for effortless selection of widgets. Let's drag data table, toolbar, and sidebar from the gallery. If you need more placeholders, click on any widget to select it and press the plus button. You can also create placeholders by pressing the control key and dragging the frame border. You can drag and drop widgets within the interface. You can drag them to an empty space or drag them on another widget. In this case, the application will offer to place a widget from either side of the target one. You can also resize widgets. Let's select any widget and drag the frame border to change the width or the height of the enclosed widget. Sometimes the resized area is bigger than the selected widget. The widgets can be deleted from the design. Right-click any widget to see the delete option or use the delete or backspace keys. If you've changed your mind, just press the undo button or hit Ctrl Z to revert the change. The same operations, selecting, deleting, and drag and drop can be performed in the tree located in the top right corner. The tree reflects the current state of the application and displays widget names. Now let's configure the widgets. Click on the chart and its width to 300 in the form on the right. Easy as pie. Some settings allow configuring complex structures via specific wizards. For example, let's open the data table columns editor and rearrange the columns by drag and drop. There's also a collection of more advanced settings under the All tab. These settings are taken from the widget API and you can read about them in WebEx documentation. Please notice the design slash code selector in the toolbar. Let's switch to the Code tab and modify the app label. The change is applied instantly once you switch back to the Design tab. When working with the code, make sure to provide the valid configuration. Now let us look at the toolbar and open the Design menu. In particular, this menu allows applying another WebEx skin to the design. With this menu, you can also rename the design by entering the new name in the related input, or download it as a PNG or PDF file as well as export the full source code. If needed, you can create a copy of the design. Notice that the copy will be opened in the new tab. You can also delete the design for good. After deleting, you will be directed to the design screen, where you can create the new design or enter any existing one. By the way, the same design menu can be accessed directly from the design card. Let's take another step up and navigate to the project screen. All designs are organized into projects, you can browse, modify them, and create new ones. Similar to designs, the projects can also be sorted alphabetically or by date of the latest modification. You can also filter projects to see all, shared, and private ones. To share your project with your collaborators, click on the Share option in the Project menu. Then type in an email of your collaborator and press the Invite button. You can allow your colleague to view or edit a project. Now let's enter the design area. If your colleagues are currently working in the same area, you will be able to see their avatars on the toolbar. Let's continue to explore the project's functionality. From the project menu, you can access data sources and style sheets that are used by widgets within a design that belongs to this project. Let's configure some data widget to see the data sources in action. Select a sidebar, hit its data setting, and choose the desired set of data for it. If you need more than that, press the Update Data Sources button and modify the data. Let's get back to the design to see the change. Same story as with custom styles. You can stylize widgets by defining CSS rules to them. Let's change the text color in a data table to green. Type the needed class name in the CSS field and describe it in the custom styles screen by clicking the brush icon nearby. Now when we switch to the design, we can notice that the new styling is applied to the widget. Let's sum it all up. WebEx UI Designer allows you to create app prototypes quickly and effortlessly. You can select, 
arrange and configure the widgets straight away. You can create a number of designs and projects as well as collaborate with your colleagues. Finally, you can export your work into any suitable format. Already like it? Then go to Webex Designer to explore it. Click on the link in the description to create your first design.